Oh, yeah, and you see Aurora, like, Storm, in the origin story. I didn't know she was from Cairo. I assumed she was in other parts of Africa. Which That's is racist. It's not racist! I swear to God, I did not know she was from Cairo. I assumed she was another part of an Africa. I didn't know it was Egyptian. While we're on that subject, in the, like, overall, what did you think of the other horsemen? The other horsemen? Um, Cyclops? Um, Cy... Psylocke? Psylocke. Psylocke. I can't pronounce that name. I don't know anything about her character, so I don't know anything, but I just know that she went off up to the final battle not looking happy at all, like, I will get you next time, X-Men, next time! Yeah, like, to, like, to be honest, another thing I kept on hearing from uh, the critics is that all of the horsemen, bar Magneto, were just fan service. You know, they're just there... To be the other horsemen, to have their little fights, nothing more, nothing less. But in a way, I'd rather disagree because I actually feel that for their role, the cast that they had to juggle, and the fact that Magneto, of course, is the only horseman that actually had, you know, real emotional stakes happening throughout the entire, you know, trilogy. It, it kind of makes sense, but I was still able to feel for all of the characters in their own way. I mean, Storm was sympathetic. I mean, someone that was down on her luck had to be a thief to do what she could. The fact that she looked up to Mystique and those little, you know, visuals, like the fact that she saw Mystique there on the battlefield and how that kind of like affected her, Angel with him. I know it doesn't delve too much into Angel, but even though he's fighting... You can kind of tell that he's got this whole, I just have to play the hand that's been dealt to me whether I like it or not. Yeah, so you can kind of see it, So you can kind of like, from that little thing, you sort of have to just interpret it your own way, not just have it spoon-fed to you. And as for Psylocke, she was the most um, uh, bland one in terms of motivation. It's just like, oh, he, my power has been upgraded I don't know how exactly. I guess maybe the whip version of her power was the upgrade. But, like, people say that Olivia Munn sucks in that movie, or that Psylocke as a whole sucks, but you, and that she barely has, like, five minutes of screen time. But she actually did have a decent presence on the screen, and some of her scenes were actually pretty were actually pretty well executed. I liked her fight with Beast. Like, I, like this was a finally, like, you know, Beast actually also had some good time to shine. <laughs> Yeah, go Beast, go Hank McCoy. And you can definitely tell he's still got a thing for Mystique. Oh, yeah, yeah. And I see it even harder now that I'm rewatching First Class. <laughs> oh, yeah, he's got a thing for Mystique. If he's got a thing for blue boobies. <laughs> yeah, you can actually kind of see with, Ar with Archangel. Yeah, like, uh, just uh, dealing with a whole bunch of shit that's been thrown at me. Like, what else is there to do? And Apocalypse was pretty was pretty menacing, I will say. Yeah, agreed. That's another complaint I hear. They say that he was not menacing. They should have made him look bigger, more intimidating. He didn't have any presence or a um, a presence of threat. And I'm kind of like, these people not watch the same movie because throughout the whole thing, you know, he felt like a legitimate threat because. Nothing seemed to phase him, and whatever phased him was just kind of natural, but it kind of just gave him a little bit more of a, I don't know, like, it's its hard to describe. Like, not more human, but you know that he's not a perfect villain. It's like everything he does will go right. You know, when someone escapes from him, he does get pissed off, and he will go at any length to make sure that he gets what he wants no matter what. And that is what, in my opinion can make an effective villain. One yeah. that does have flaws, and that's not always like, everything goes my way, that's it. Yeah, and him trying to recruit Charles is also really amazing scenes, too. Like, James McAvoy brings it on. James McAvoy gets to kick Apocalypse's ass in my game. Like, whoa, you go, Professor! Woo! Yeah, isn't this, like, the first time we ever actually see, like, other than, you know, the Days of Future passing with that one sucker punch, that we actually see... Xavier, like, actually duke it out with, like, a fist fight? That was, like, some freaking, you know, like, one piece shit. Just, like, you know, just straight up hand-to-hand -hand combat. Just boom, 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 boom. Just, like, 
the fuck? Damn. Yeah, no, I was, I was pumping that. for him. I was rooting for him. Yeah, woo, you go. <laughs> yeah, and other characters that uh, got side... Uh, that scene where Stryker comes in after the uh, estate blows up and after Pietro, like, Pietro saves everybody in the fast motion, gets everybody out except Havoc. Havoc dies, unfortunately. But that scene where... Stryker just holds them captive, seems entirely pointless other than to give them a, a jet plane and to get a Wolverine cameo. Which was awesome, though. He was, like, in his, um, uh, like, Weapon X. Oh, yeah. yeah. I loved that moment. I was laughing the entire time watching him slaughter like, all those I, people. Oh, like, and that was some hard PG-13 shit going on. You this saw wasn't that. no fucking, like, this wasn't no the Wolverine stuff where it just looks like he's slashing people, but you don't see any repercussion of it like you're seeing blood and shit going on it's just like holy damn <laughs> i was laughing was like, the whole yeah. time though, though i will say the lead up was kind of weak in my opinion i guess because so. they had to give they were giving way too many clues into it like like i wonder what's in there like it's not human it feels like something primal like some kind of animal all they needed to say, extra was just like some kind of Wolverine. Get on with it! <laughs> yeah, and Jean Grey, you see a little bit of a. I don't know if you start to see the blooding, budding interest for Logan, like for Jean Grey, like she gets uh, into his head and gives him a little dose of a memory back, and he just goes off and uh, yeah. Yeah, that I I can't help but just find it funny with the way he just ran up into the wilderness it's just like as soon as he just walked on um, ran off i just kept on expecting to see like a giant title screen saying next on naked and afraid yeah and uh <laughs> yeah you start to see the bud like a uh, start to see uh yeah gene and cyclops's romance kind of gets uh, gives off onto a little rocky start but you can kind of see it happening here and scott is not much of a dickhead in this one i mean he lost yeah, he his was, brother he was, he was, yeah, he, he was more likable, and I actually liked seeing the brotherly um, uh, back and forth between him and Havoc. Yeah, even though uh, Havoc was supposed to... Which one was supposed to be younger? Like, I think in actual canon, Havoc is meant to be the younger one, but I think they just changed it up for this continuity since, you know, he was in first class. And first understand. class took place in the 60s. I don't understand why they did that, but... Okay, fine. At least you see the brotherly connection, and... So sad, yeah, understandable. Yeah, he lost his brother, so... Of course he'd be upset and emotional. And the scene <laughs> he first goes through the stage, and he... The yeah, professor asks, like, uh, just take off your bandages and let's see what you're doing. He aims at the tree, he's like, My grandfather planted that tree. I used to swing on it when I was a kid. That was my favorite tree. Splits in half. <laughs> yeah, rest in peace, Teddy Tree Bark. <laughs> oh, lordy, lord, lord, lord. And I love uh, James McAvoy's hair in this. Yeah, Alex got a mullet. <laughs> the mullet is possessed Alex now. And when Alex and died... The mullet, and then the mullet is burned. And then when the, Alex died, the mullet went into Lance. This explains so much! Created, I think you've just created a freaking cross... Dimensional canon. That explains everything. We know we're a part of the Mullet's origin story. Oh my god! <laughs> oh, just every little moment. Yeah. Well, I'm see. gonna admit though, I was kind of pissed off that, like, cause I'm not sure. Maybe I missed it, but I hate that Striker was able to just get away like so easily. That pissed me off. I know, and he was a total douchebag. Like he kidnapped these people for no reason. What? point did that serve? But that, but, that just, but that makes me raise questions, though. At the end of Days of Future Past, they find Logan, who was all um, uh, mangled up in the metal, but then we see it's Mystique that's just, that's um, a disguised as Striker. So what the fuck happened? Yeah, like, did, did, it... did he literally carry the charade so far that she still initiated the Weapon X program and then, you know, she just left, you know, like deuces and then Striker just kind of came back and was all like, oh, 
I got this thing here. Neat. I don't know. They don't explain it, which is very, very odd. And the very ending scene, there is an ending scene at the very end of the credits where some dude in sunglasses, it looks like Mr. Anderson, just uh, walks in with a briefcase, takes some sample of Weapon X's blood and with other samples, which made me immediately think that uh, they're starting the X program, like, X-23? Yeah, that's what a lot of people are thinking as well, that this is going to probably be one of the lead-ins to introducing X-23 to eventually have the mantle passed on to her once the Wolverine 3 movie comes out. Yeah, I think that X-23 should really does need to have her own origin movie, not really including too much of a Hugh Jackman or Wolverine, just having her own thing so she can properly develop and see all the shit that she has to go through. Kind of like what you do with Jessica Jones, if that makes any sense. Like, her origin story starts off really fucking dark, so you need proper time in order to develop that and see where she comes from and her relationship to Wolverine, so you need time for that. Yeah, but also the uh, my Essex Corp thing is a reference to Mr. Sinister, which got me thinking of Deadpool, because Mr. Sinister is an enemy in the Deadpool game. <laughs> Ah. Mm, maybe that was the yeah, guy. Like, like, like a lot of people didn't know that. Again, that's something that I um, I had to look up, and reviewers were all saying, like, yeah, like it's a reference to Mr. Sinister and all that. And I'm just kind of like, huh. Yeah, I didn't know that either. That was a ref that was uh, way over my head, but... <sighs> yeah, but... Yeah, Charles fighting back with uh, Apocalypse in the mind thing. Like, he's making him broadcast this whole message to the world. He still goes, like... And go fuck yourself, Apocalypse. Deuces. I'm James McAvoy, bitches! I do what I want! Yeah. And we find out how he lo loses his hair. Yep, stress. In a pretty... Extreme. Like, stress of an apocalyptic level? <laughs> I'm not apologizing. <laughs> yeah, and there... Uh, you see a, a cameo of... Uh, uh, Callisto? Callisto. Or... What's that guy's name? The guy oh, with... Oh, um, Yeah, the one that had Psylocke, right? Yeah. Like, he was oh. part of the other X-Men world, I think, with the Morlocks. Like, he's one of the guys who can see absolutely, like, a lot of things. That, I was... Uh, the, yeah, the name was something with a C. Like, for some reason, it sounded like Caliban. I think that was it! Because I kept on, for some reason, I kept on thinking Caravan, but then it's like, no, Caliban. No, Caliban. Yeah, Caliban makes a cameo on this, and he's a bit a little bit, hmm, uh, hello, Mystique, it's so nice to see you. <laughs> oh, it brings along Kurt. Oh my god, Kurt is so fucking adorable. I want to cosplay. I want that hair. I want the co costume. I want, I want, I want! It's not fair. Why can't I be Necrophobia?